This past summer, South Kitsap High School sent eight students, three teachers, and 200 refurbished used computers to Uganda as part of the Computers for Uganda program. The program was developed by the International Rotary as a means of providing technology to underprivileged schools in Uganda, and our school is fortunate enough to be involved thanks to our strong technology program. SK teamed up with Forest Ridge, an all-girls school from Bellevue, to set up 15 labs in three weeks, as well as a refurbishing center to make it easier for the schools to fix the computers if they were having problems. The refurbishing center also acts as a warehouse for the computers not currently in use in order to alleviate a few challenges for future involvement. And the technology in Uganda, um, to understand Uganda a little bit, when you have a computer in a school, it's a real benefit to that school because it makes them more of a marketable school, it makes them more of a premier school. Um, people would come from miles to come to a school that has a computer. How many computers are in the lab? Uh, 14. 14. Still keeping books for records. Mm -hmm. And the, the passer, this, this is full of records which can go on. Uh -huh. Just one computer. They're so excited to have the computers, and um, they don't have a lot of resources like we do. Mm -hmm. But um, when we were looking in the classrooms, they all have kept very nice notebooks, and their handwriting is all perfect. Their classrooms, uh, they don't even have chalkboards that they can read on, and they're all very interested in school, and they're so happy to be there. So yes, obviously sending technology to underprivileged schools in Africa is helpful, but what exactly is being accomplished by doing so? Have you seen student performance increase? Yeah, it has increased. Uh, from what we saw from the schools we visited that already had computers, they have um, science in the curriculum now. They're learning about electricity, uh, some things that could actually help the company or the country in that company get through some of the hard times. They don't have textbooks, and um, one of the things that we did install on the computers was in Carta, mm -hmm. and they were just amazed by the information they could get off of it. Um, they looked at things that they knew at first, like Uganda, and they looked at maps and could see where they lived, and they were so excited to see things like that. So it opens up the whole world to them. The technology provides the children with the education necessary to understand their health, which is an ongoing struggle. I don't know very much about the health of the human body. So providing that information, of providing what the healthy body looks like, where the heart is located at, um, information about AIDS and HIV, what are the differences? It has really sparked a health awareness in Uganda just by simply using the basic technology. In some schools, more than half the students have lost one or both of their parents to AIDS and other deadly diseases. Constantly faced with the tragic effects of this epidemic, the students develop a vision of what they hope to become and are exceptionally ambitious and eager to learn, but they aren't the only ones. Educating the teachers as to how to use the computers is perhaps even more important than providing them with the technology. The goal is mainly to educate the teachers so that, in turn, they may educate their students. But it wasn't all work. In the three weeks they were in Uganda, they somehow found time in their busy schedules to have a few meals with Uganda dignitaries a state dinner, lunch with the First Lady, and another dinner at the Vice President's house. They were even privileged enough to be invited to watch a speech given by the Vice President in honor few would have the opportunity to experience. So what will South do now? Anything you needed, you wanted to change within the lab, what would that be? Newton. Increasing the number. Our future involvement in the program is based partially on funding, a good deal of which is provided by the Rotary, but is mainly based on an invitation. The program involvement is dictated by need, not necessarily a desire to help. There are a few projects in play for the future, but for now, nothing is definite. One thing that I would love to see is for us to visit the schools that we've already installed and help them um, maintain and answer any of the questions that they have. If everything works out, we want to do the same thing that we did last year. Uh, there's a lot of things that have to be put in place. We'd like to go through and actually fix computers that have been have faltered in the last five years and try to keep all the other hard work from the last five years going. It is not often we get the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of people halfway around the world and surely for those involved it will have been an experience that they will never forget. <laughs>